Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that you have the power to purge. Now, that could be in various aspects of your life. You could purge yourself of some of the things that you place in your body for your health. You could purge yourself of people that don't serve a valuable purpose in your life. A purpose that you deem valuable, not that society deems valuable. You can purge your mind of ideas that don't serve you or help you, that are hindering you along your way, that are inflicting that are inflicting injury along your way. You can purge yourself of situations, whether that be job, whether that be home, whether that be location. You purge yourself of things that are attached to your heart, things that you hold near and dear to your heart that you feel obligated to. Purge yourself of those responsibilities because at one point they may have served as a responsibility that helped you along your way. But sometimes things must go. There's always something worth letting go and always something worth holding near and dear to. But it doesn't mean they're supposed to stay that way for the entire way, the entire journey, the entire life. No. Sometimes we must take inventory and realize, okay, this helped me during that period. This didn't help me during that period. Now it's time to switch it up. Now it's time to invite something new. Now it's time to invite something different because I know that holding on to this belief, holding on to this idea, this person, this situation, it has got me to where I am now and I don't like where I am now. So you invite something new so you can invite the change. So you can see the change. Not on the outside, but within you. So you can see the peace that you have. So you can see the clarity that you have. So you can be more in touch with your heart more. That requires change. Hence, the purge. Get those things out. It doesn't have to be a... Uh, as fast as possible. No, some things have been hooked. You've been hooked on for a long time, or if you held on to for a long time, take your time, if need be. But if you can rip it right off, get it off you, get it out you. Don't beat yourself up. The purge. See, we can even we can even absorb content or things that we watch on whatever streaming medium. And we could take in things that really help us stay uh, locked in to different ways of thinking. Sometimes it helps to watch something new. For myself, I, I tell you all the time, I'm not perfect. I watch a comedy in a heartbeat. I'll sit up and watch some wholesome pranks in a heartbeat. I don't want to see people get hurt, injured, none of that stuff. No, I'll watch something that's light, that's cool, that's chill. They'll put a smile on my face and watch other people smile. Why? Because for so long, I thought and I really held on to the belief that, no, you have to be extra tough. You have to be able to deal with all these different things of the world. It's not to say that I'm not able to, but at a certain time, it served a purpose. Now, I'm over that. I like relaxing. I like enjoying. I like being at peace. I love seeing and interacting with things that put a smile on my face. But it took a purge. And on my journey, that started with people. Well, let me backtrack that. It actually started with beliefs. And then when I started believing more of myself, then it went to people. And I began purging people. To a point, it was it was fun. It was it was really fun because it was like a game. It was a okay, in order to level up in my life, I must make these choices because I understand that if I keep on going through the same pattern of thought in these relationships, I've already seen the end of the movie. So let's change it. Let's mix it up a bit. Because I can guarantee you that I didn't like that movie. So why would I wait till the outcome to play out again? I purged and through that I had a period of not loneliness but being alone and in that alone time I realized that I was the person I was always looking for he was I and I was him 
It's the same for you. Some of the things that you experience in your life, you're looking for someone else to connect with. Once you connect with yourself and you enjoy that, then you realize not only am I that person, but then you begin to connect with other people who have that same spirit. See, that's beautiful because when you're appreciating yourself more, you connect with those who appreciate themselves more. And then that's a different level of love, whether it be a friendship, whether it be just a random stranger, whether it be an intimate partner. That's a whole nother level of love because you're not looking for that person to fulfill you. No, you've purged the things that held you back from self-love. And because you have a higher level of self-love now. That's reflected in the outside world with people that are in love with your energy as well. It's beautiful. So I share that to say, it's no shame in purging. Enjoy it. It's not always going to be easy. <laughs> it wasn't simple for me in all aspects. Diet is one of them. Begin to change my diet, help my clarity. But it took me to do a certain kind of work on myself to be able to hear the message through different messengers that God sent to me to understand. Oh, that's part of my self-love message. Message from myself to myself. And when I began to adhere to those messages, my health got better. My energy got better. The way I see food was different. It is different. It has changed and it's still slowly changing day by day. The way that I treat my body is different. The way that I respond to my body is different. The way my body responds to me is different. It's all a purge. Some things are no longer needed, y'all. And there's no shame in admitting that or recognizing it. I hope this helps at least one. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.